Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about experiences, because I've had multiple that I've had with racism and like racist people and what or whatever. And I'm mostly making this video as like a spin-off of my grown up dark skin video reaction to Summer Rose video. This is just, you know, a disclaimer, you know, I might not have reacted in these situations back in the day, but I just want to let all the racist people out there know that it is 2017. And I'm not the one. A lot of these experiences happen like in middle school on back anyway, so whatever. Experience number one was in elementary school. So I had a friend, and we were like best friends. It was like me and two other girls, we was all friends. One of the friends, she was like more quiet than the other friend. And she was friends with this white girl named I mean, should I say her name? I mean, I really don't think nobody would ever find her, but I'm not gonna say her name because you just, you never know. But she was friends with this one other girl. So they were like close friends or whatever. And then one day the girl said something about her. Like, I don't know if she called her the N word or something. Like she said something regarding race or whatever. And you know, it like hurt my friend's feelings. So, you know, my school was in a heavily populated, was heavily populated with white people is what I'm saying. And the neighborhood that it was in was heavily, populated with white people and it was a lot of white people that did not like black people if you catch my drift i was like pretty sure that a lot of these kids probably had like racist parents but they were all like on my friend's side and they was like you know blah 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 let me give her another name that was i'm gonna call her brandy it was like brandy was wrong for that yada 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 so i didn't even have to like say much you know because everybody's turned on her anyway the second experience was the one that i touched on the growing up dark skin that was in fourth grade that happened actually so yeah but the second experience was the one i um touched on in the growing up dark skin video this girl and we were sitting in language arts class and she was like she said something slick about somebody black and then she was like but you're pretty you know for a black girl and i was like you're a black girl like, what that mean but you know of course i was in sixth grade i was like already you know nervous every single day and i didn't say nothing but if i could go back to that moment i would have said something because I could have really got into her, honestly. I have one. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about telling this story, but I had like, I was in middle school, so you know how you used to have boyfriends, but y'all ain't never going nowhere. Y'all just like each other in school. So I had started going out with this white boy, and then like two days, like two days after we started going out, he was like, my mom doesn't want me to date a black girl. And then now that I think about it, he wasn't even hot. Like he was not even the hot stuff. Like. That was a waste of time, like, and I was so hurt. Don't get me wrong, get some cute white boys out there, but he wasn't one of them. I don't know if I should make this a separate video about a series that I have, like, teachers and stuff. Actually, I'm just going to put it all in this one because I, I don't plan to talk about this topic again unless it comes up again. But when I was in seventh grade, my homeroom teacher, she, um, she, we was talking about something. And she, like, but I hate when teachers butt in the conversation, like, especially when they ain't got nothing to do with them. So we was talking and then she was like talking about one of her friends that looked like that, that looks exactly like a monkey. She was like, yeah, um, I had this one friend and he looks like just like a monkey and yada yada yada. And we were like, <laughs> yeah, funny. Yeah. And then she was like, and the thing is, he's not even black. And I was like, at first I was like, okay. And then I was like, wait, he's not even black. What that mean? Like, what do that mean? And then from then on, I always had like animosity against her. It was this other time, the guidance counselor, we was like having like life skills and we was all in the room or whatever. And she was like talking about holding eye contact. And she was like, it's known that black people, uh, black, black males or something like that, um, hold eye contact for the least amount of time. And then she just moved on. Like, she didn't tell us why she gave us that fact. Like, she just moved on. And I told my mom about it. She was like, why did she have to say that? Like, like if you wasn't going to give us no facts about it, why you had to say that? Around this time, because, you know, I had always went to school with white people and stuff like that. And all this stuff happened in seventh grade, like, with the teachers and stuff. So, around this time, I was, like, coming in touch with my black side. You know, I had got black friends. You know, I was, like, really getting, you know, like, I was coming in touch with my blackness and I wasn't like you know trying to be something that I wasn't because I was really trying to fit in with the white people and I could not like I could not get jiggy with it oh my gosh I forgot a major experience oh my goodness okay so this happened in sixth grade this video is gonna be long so this happened in sixth grade I was sitting like I don't know how to even show y'all this okay it was me I was sitting 
right here, desk facing this way. It was a white girl. Her desk was facing me, so this way. And she was sitting right here. So this is how we sitting. Then across the room, you got another table. So we gonna say the girl, that this other girl that was sitting next to me was talking to was this black eyeshadow right on the edge, okay? Keep this in mind. So we sitting like this. I can hear everything girl right here saying. She's white, this girl is white, and this girl is white. I'm black, I hear everything they saying. This girl right here, she looks over to this girl and she's like, I'm gonna call her Jessica, even though nobody's gonna find these people, I'm still gonna call her a different name. She was like, Jessica, doesn't Kelvin look like a porch monkey? I was like, and, and this Kelvin character, he's black, okay? I was like, okay. So, I had another, I was friends with these both, both these white girls that was talking. So I had another white girl that was a friend, but she wasn't around this situation. We was all in the same class, but she wasn't near us. And I was like, the girl that said the boy like a porch monkey, we're gonna call her, we'll call her Riley. Okay, so I was like, a girl, the white girl that I'm talking to, I was like, girl, Riley said Kelvin looked like a porch monkey or whatever. And then the other white girl was like, oh, that is not cool or whatever. And we was like, they, Riley was buddy buddy with Kelvin. So we was like, okay, we're gonna write Kelvin a note and tell him what's going on. Like, why not? Like, okay, so we wrote him a note. And we was like, we just wanna let you know, or maybe we didn't write him a note, maybe we just told him. We was like, we just wanna let you know that your girl called you a porch monkey. So word gets back around to Riley that we had told him or whatever. And so everybody starts feeling bad for Riley. I was like, how y'all feeling bad for this girl? And she just called this man a porch monkey. And then the boy that she called a porch monkey was feeling bad for her too. And was hanging out with her too. And that's when I said, you know what? That's the last time I get in people business. I should have just let her call you a porch monkey and moved on. I have more than I thought I had. So I'm probably going to make a part two to this video because I've been talking for 20 minutes straight. And my mouth is dry. And, you know, I don't want this video to be too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope it wasn't too all over the place. And I hope I wasn't rambling too much. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.